Good morning. This is Unlock Circuit 18 EC42, Module 3, Lecture 1, Part 4, Feedback Amplifiers. Series, series, feedback topology. So till now, we considered the basic structure of the feedback amplifier and the four different uh, feedback topologies in brief. And then we went for the series and feedback topology, which is applied for the voltage amplifier. And now we come to the fourth part where we are discussing series series feedback topology for the transconductance amplifier. So the input is a series and the output is also series. Input is series just gives us that we are trying to mix voltage and output is series gives us that we are trying to sample the current. So this is rather very much important. So the series series feedback topology will be having the basic transconductance amplifier and in the the feedback network we'll have the vf which is equal to beta into i naught vf is equal to beta into i naught you can consider here that vs is equal to vi plus vf or vi is equal to vs minus vf either of the two you can consider and the I naught is taken out from here and that is sampled and we will get here the value of Vf to be equal to beta into I naught. So now what we are trying to do is the transconductance amplifier we are replacing on the input side with only the I resistance and at the output side we are putting the Norton sequence. That is the dependent source AVI in parallel with the resistance R0. So this is the ideal case wherein we are just trying to lump the whatever is there within the input, uh, you know, source resistance. We are considering as if it is not there and the load resistance is also not there. Or we are considering that it is part of the amplifier itself, source resistance as well as the load resistance. We are not considering them as separate. So here, uh, we can see that we have the amplifier circuit again, which is we should consider unilateral, that means current passes like this. We don't have uh, you know, uh, the reverse. Uh, then Ri is the input resistance and A is the transconductance. Again, you can write A or might be some people will use the term G. R0 is equal to output resistance and then beta is the circuit is an ideal current sampling series fixing feedback network so this value of beta will be nice when vf is equal to beta into i naught beta will be equal to i uh, uh, what is that the reverse value vf by i naught beta value will be vf by i naught the source and uh, load resistance as i said are included within the amplifier circuit and the beta circuit does not load the amplifier circuit and always the assumption is this that is the beta circuit will never load the uh, what we call um, amplifier circuit so the value of a is equal to the output value that is the output current divided by the input voltage so that's why some people use the term g also for this so now with the feedback, we are just trying to write this as on the input side as VS uh, with the RIF on the, on the output side, we are trying to write again the Norton sequence with ROF and AF VS in parallel. So now we can write the closed loop gain as AF, AF is equal to I0 by uh, VS. Some people again use GF over here to refer to the I0 by VS, but doesn't matter. We can just consider AF I0 by VS. Now, what is this VS? VS is nothing but VI plus the value of VF. And VF is, uh, you know, we can just write VF in terms of I0, which is beta I0. And VI is nothing but VI uh, plus VF. VF is uh, beta I0, VI is V not, uh, VI is nothing but the, uh, what you call A, uh, you know, A. the A is equal to, we have considered 
here a is equal to i naught by vi vi will be equal to i naught by uh, you know a and that vi we can just replace uh, vs can be replaced by vi vf vi can be replaced by uh, i naught by a and you know, plus vf can be replaced by beta i naught so you can just take out the i naught uh, by a as common from the denominator from the denominator then uh, v naught by uh, i naught by a multiplied by one plus a beta we'll have in the denominator in the numerator we'll have the i naught i naught i naught will cancel and the denominator of the denominator a will go to the numerator position and we are left with a by one plus a beta then we have the input uh, resistance with feedback which is equal to vs by i, I and I, I we know very well is equal to vi by ri the input voltage divided by the input resistance ri from the earlier figure which is over here right the value of uh, what you call i i is equal to uh, vi by ri so vi by ri vs again we can write uh, so this can be simplified and written as ri multiplied by vs by vi and vs can be again written as vi plus uh, vf and vf is beta v naught and uh, v naught is nothing but again we can try to write the value from here the v naught value from here and that v naught is the value a v i itself and v naught replaced by a v i will be here v i you can take out common v i v i cancels and we are left with one plus a beta multiplied by one i so thus we have here a series fixing which increases the input resistance by the value one plus a beta and the general form is the input impedance in place of resistance here input impedance which is a function of the laplacian s is given by the input impedance with feedback here is given by the input impedance without feedback multiplied by the one plus a beta factor then we come to the output resistance wherein we consider the vs is equal to zero and we put a test so uh, the current source now because output is current test the current source at the output side and the vs is squared equal to zero so by having the test current source the output resistance can be measured as this is v divided by the voltage here is itself v, v divided by it so v divided by it is the voltage now this v uh, you know you can always write as the voltage across r naught and that is nothing but i i minus the vi mm -hmm. current flowing here plus the current flowing here will be the current here mm -hmm. so that means the current flowing here will be this minus this so it minus a v i so v will be the the, the value of uh, you know the current here will be uh, it minus a v i and the same thing will expand over here v is equal to it minus a v i into r naught so current there in r naught will be v by uh, r naught so that will be this so therefore v i will be it minus a v i into r naught now v i itself if you go back over here v i itself here is nothing but uh, v s is nothing but v i plus v f so therefore v i will be equal to v s minus v f but v s we have considered zero in this particular case so therefore v i will be minus v f and v f is nothing but beta i naught and i naught is nothing but the i t so we have v i is equal to minus beta i t for v s equal to zero so now we can substitute in place of the uh, you know value vi over here the minus beta uh, you know it and hence we will get it common we can take that out then v by it will be the value of roi and that is equal to ro into one plus a beta so thus the current sampling which we are trying to do at the output side the current sampling which we are trying to do at the output side this is current sampling this is uh, you know uh, voltage mixing 
this is current sampling and this is voltage mixing and that current sampling which we are doing current sampling which we are doing in the feedback increases the output resistance by one percent so the general form of the output impedance is z or f with feedback uh, you know with feedback is z or f as a function of the laplace operator is equal to you know z naught without the feedback multiplied by one plus a beta so that is the uh, you know ideal case now coming to the practical case here we see that we need to consider the rs uh, as well as the rl separately we don't consider them to be attached to the uh, what you call uh, basic amplifier we consider them to be separate so at that time rn will be this then the r i f will be the resistance looking here that means r i f will be equal to r s in series with r n r n so r n will be r i f minus r s in the same way what we have here is r o and the value of the r o f will be the one which might be you know here so in that case we can consider the r o f r o f to be equal to R O F minus R L. So uh, we can consider here that the block diagram of the practical series series feedback amplifier both are series. However, this is voltage mixing. This is current sampling. Please remember that this is voltage mixing and this is current sampling. So R I F and R O F are the input and output resistors respectively of the feedback amplifier, including RS and RL. The actual input and output resistors of the feedback amplifier usually exclude the RS and RL. So RN we have discussed, R out also we have discussed. So now what we are trying to do is the feedback network we are replacing by a Z equivalent circuit, the Z parameter circuit. Look back in the network theory or network analysis, then we see that the this is the you know z uh, model okay z model the impedance model uh, z equivalent circuit of the beta network and here we try to neglect this uh, neglect this uh, what you call uh, value of z to one this we neglect we keep this we just take this on this side lump it with the amplifier and this also we lump at the amplifier, okay. And then what we have here is nothing but the once we, this is lumped with this, the value of the what you call VF will be equal to Z I two into Z one two into I two. Uh, I two is nothing but the I naught itself, and this will be Z I naught is equal to the F. And that VF will be equal to naturally Z I two Z one two itself will be equal to the uh, beta. So we can neglect the Z two one and consider the rest of the thing. The effect of the you know controlled source Z two one I one is neglected. So now considering with that, that means we are lumping, you know, with the amplifiers so Z11 and Z2, and we have to consider it as Z12 I0. So then beta will be equal to Z12, approximately you know, equal to the you know Z12 here is nothing but V1 by I2. This V1 is this voltage which is in the VF itself, and the uh, I2 is the current which is flowing here, which is I0 when I1 is equal to zero, when the current flowing through this is equal to zero. This is the voltage source, current flowing through this, if we consider this equal to zero, then we'll get the value of beta. That is the port one open circuit. Air. So all these are just giving us the equivalent circuits. That is A equivalent circuit. We are trying to lump with the basic amplifier, RS and R1. And R I is the one which we calculate on this side with the VI dash over here. And between Y and Y dash, 
we consider R naught, so therefore R naught plus R L will be the uh, what we call total value of the uh, output impedance, and hence we will get correspondingly the you know the what we call this value that is R O F is equal to R naught plus R L. So R out is equal to R O F minus R L. That is what we have considered here. Okay, so this. The resistance we'll assume between y and y dash is equal to the uh, R naught uh, over here. Okay. So then R11 can be obtained by considering the what we call this side, and you have a feedback network, and R22 can be considered by you know uh, what we call obtained from the feedback network and so from this side. Then beta can be found by putting the you know. Uh, current source in the feedback network with I naught dash and measuring the voltage over here and thus VF dash by the you know, I naught divided by the VF dash will give us the beta R. VF dash is equal to beta I naught. The VF dash is equal to beta I naught. So beta is equal to VF dash by I naught when I1 I is equal to I1 is equal to zero. So with this uh, this this uh, this uh, this summary we can go forward and try to solve the memory term. so here we are considering a feedback triple that is you have here a three transistor model okay with the emitter uh, over here connected with the resistor network and this emitter also is connected with the resistor network but this uh, you know uh, what you call transistor does not have anything on to the emitter uh, you know, side. So no, no resistor is connected to the emitter over here. So assume that the bias circuit uh, causes IC1 is equal to 0.6 milliampere and IC1 is equal to, IC2 is equal to 1 milliampere, IC3 equal to 4 milliampere. Using these values and assuming HFT is equal to 100 and R0 is equal to infinity, find the open loop gain A and the feedback uh, factor beta. The closed loop gain AF equal to I naught over Vs, the voltage gain V naught by Vs, the input resistance Rn equal to RIF and the output resistance ROF uh, between the nodes Y and Y dash. And now R naught uh, of Q3 is 25 kilo ohms, estimate the approximate value of the output resistance. Okay. So we'll con uh, consider an additional video for this particular you know, numerical and we'll stop it for the present. Thank you.